to this Cavco Maker tutorial. Sorry if there's a bit of reflection on my glasses, but I am here behind the glasses. I'm going to show you a little process in Cavco Maker today that will enable you to carve a 3D cavity so you can color resin in fusion and it will make a beautiful plaque or something like that and it's very easily done in Cavco Maker so I'll just drop off the screen and we'll make this smaller now I've got a, a picture here just of a rose and you'll notice in a minute it's all black that's very important so I'm going to alter the figures here now you can play around with the figures really to suit yourself but I have found like 200 high uh, in this particular case um, the width will automatically uh, change with the correct aspect ratio now I'm going to put the Z height at five millimeters. Okay, and then press OK. Let's go full screen. Now that looks very scruffy at the moment, for want of a better word. So we're going to change all that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to smooth relief because it is actually a relief already I'll prove it to you now before I, I smooth it I'll turn it over and you see it's, it's an indentation okay but it's uh, a bit this is what they call or what is called noise that's come in with the picture so we're going to get rid of that but we're going to it's actually going to transform the whole picture into something really presentable. So if you just press on the slider bar here and go to maximum, okay, and apply, and we'll look at it again. You see the difference it makes? A very big difference. Um, now you might be able to see it better um, if I take this uh, contrast slider bar here and, and take the color right out of it and now you can actually see that there is a cavity there that you could fill with say pink or red um, resin here and maybe a bit of brown resin here and gr and brown resin here and green resin here. Um, what will make this look a little better, I'm going to show you another little, little trick that you can do to make this look um, better um, and it makes it stand out more for you on the screen as well. So we'll just come out of this And we'll go up here to model. Now we're going to add a border. And uh, we're going to add a border all the way around of oh, 10 millimeter will be fine. Uh, but the border will be stepped back. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Bring it down a bit. And if I roll it over, what I'm doing is I'm holding the scroll wheel down on the mouse and just pulling the mouse down. You can see that we now have a three-dimensional relief in the negative so you can fill the individual petal areas and leaf areas with resin. Uh, you would however have to probably block this end off a bit um, and if you 
you know, you only wanted the, say, brown coloured resin to go as far as here, you'd have to um, block this a little bit with some putty. And that would be fine. Okay, so to machine this now, I'm just quickly going to show you to machine uh, this. So we're going to go to, you can pick up the tool paths from many places. You can go in here and pick them up. You can pick them up from um, up here, tool paths. So we're going to say 3D. Um, and we're going to say machine the relief. Um, hole relief. Yes, and we're going to pick a tool. Just going to do it with one tool. Uh, no, I'll probably use two actually. I'll I use a three millimeter ball nose first to do the roughing. We're going to select that, um, and we're going to modify the speed and feeds um, step down um, step over uh, 0 0.25 step down 5.5 feed rate um, I can go a lot faster than that uh, we're going to say 50 millimeters per second so that's two inches per second uh, plunge rate I normally do 50% of the the um, feed rate so that's 25 uh, I'm going to ramp this all the way up to 24,000 um, we probably don't require any ramp in moves so We'll get rid of that. Um, safe Z six millimeter. Okay, that's fine. Better define the material. Um, this will be nineteen mil. Actually, I could use twelve, which is half an inch in the old money. So we're going to okay that. I'm going to call this um, well, really. Cut one. Just for quickness and calculate. Okay. And then we'll call this up again because I'm going to do a a finishing pass. Um hole relief again and we're going to do it with a 1.5 millimeter I'm going to OK that I'll select that one rather um, let's set this up I'm going to accept that step down I can actually go to uh, 1.5 just to make sure it does it in one cut. Feed rate. Um, okay, now I don't want to snap this tool, so uh, I'm going to go 25 millimeters per second and 12 millimeters plunge rate and again 24,000. Now I use Mac 3, so I mean. I'll start it off a little slower um, because I can alter the feed rate within Mark III. Uh, actually, all the parameters. Um, and, you know, you've got to sort of use your own judgment. Um, and if you everything appears to be fine, you can ramp it up. Um, and you can even sort of go 200% if you are that way inclined. But um, this is all okay, so we're going to say cut two here. And we're going to calculate that. Okay. So 
So now we're going to simulate this. So we're going to come down here now and simulate it, which is done. So now I want to change the material so uh, you know you can see it a little better. So you notice what I did. I clicked on simulate or simulation actually up here. Now I'm going to go in here because this is set at the default. Uh, let me see. Uh, light oak vertical. That's normally pretty good. So you can see. So you have, you know, you, you can get some sort of representation of, oh, okay, yeah, I can see now that you can fill these cavities, you know, with different color resins, and, um, you know, you can choose your own material that you would uh, like to make it out of, but you can also pick out, like I was saying just now, that you would need to... Um, like put a bridge here with putty or something like that to um, you know sort of run the resin uh, in here to fill this area up here with the stem um, you know let that go off remove the putty and then f um, you wouldn't have to put any putty then um, and then put your green um, resin in here, you know, in the leaf areas. Not much of this. I, it, you may see some of this. It may be okay. Uh, you know, the, the the sort of the 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 sort of uh, markings inside. Obviously, the the color. Uh, if you you know you didn't do too too deep a green color. This would show up a lighter green, uh, and it may even poke through the top of the resin, depending on how much you filled it up, of course. Um, you know, it may pay not to fill it all the way to the top. Uh, then you wouldn't have to, you know, sort of sand the whole area down or machine the whole uh, surface off. Um, and I think that would make a very presentable plaque. Something a little bit unusual. So that's uh, one thing that you can do with Cavco Maker. From a very plain um, black tracing or picture, as it were. I mean, you could make your own, but it needs to be black, so... Uh, Kafka Maker can actually make a bit of sense out of it and drop the dark color to, you know, sort of take it down into the bottom of the picture. So you can do this process. So, thank you for watching the video today and I hope this uh, may be of help to some of you. Um, you know, give you a couple of projects to do. Um, if you like what I'm doing with Cavco Maker or any of the Cavco programs, uh, please like and subscribe. And you may like to become a patron to the channel because it is the patrons that allows me to continue making uh, good content for these programs. Also, there is a discount code below this video in the video description area for any of the Cavco products. So thank you for joining me. Until the next video, bye for now.